It's excellent. It's dog aggressive staff here. Yeah, I know. Well, he doesn't need to, he can bring it out himself. <laughs> and he takes the tail, as I think, said, yeah, that's, that's a bit that... Look, he's just trying to go out who's going to... You can tell me his confidence is getting so much more. See when he approached Stitch, but he went lower than Stitch. Yep. Very good. He didn't go up and put his head over his shoulder. Dom, aggression is, is, is the next level, you know. Okay. He, uh, even what you're describing when... Go on, Stitch. What are you doing? Look at the state of you. Is that you knackered now? Are you knackered? Are you knackered? Oh, he's that in now. Hello. Very good. Let's walk on the pier and we'll see if he uh, will go playful again. Because he likes the water, you said, eh? Oh, yeah, Go on, Jack. Good boy. On you go. Doing very well. I love doing yours. Oh, he's such a muppet. Look at the state of him. Look at the state of him. So this is going to be, see like the wee, oh, three, three patterdales for you, that's a challenge. And they're all off, so generally they're probably going to be good. But what I want you to do, let's see if he falls off the edge of this piece first of all. So what I want you to do is you're going to put him on, and then you're going to walk like kind of just like that way, pass through the patterdales. Yep. Yeah. Let's see how he reacts, yeah. okay? So I'll pause this and then we'll... Good. Remember you're to protect him as well as tell him what to do, okay? So just focus on him, forget about anything else. Sorry mate, they're alright. Yeah, so normally he would be attacking then. Good. Good. You can totally walk towards them. It's really good to see how he's totally sniffing, he's doing very well. Just try not to let him walk in front of you like that. Okay? And try not to hold him back. Try and burst that bubble. Tell him to get back. Don't just hold him. Oh, she's just holding it back and then you'll never be off the leash. Can't really see because of the light. So Jack would normally, he's uh, two and a half now. He has Oh, he's been good, he's just a really excitable guy, and then he got attacked by a, a, a standard poodle. Yes! Jack! Come and see me! Come on in! See how he just sticks with good boy! How he sticks with you! But he needs you to do little things like that, like going, there's a dog, I'm gonna walk towards it, rather than if you saw them normally, I'll go, I'll just go to the end of the pier. That's never going to help, Jack. <laughs> you know, so, uh, as I was saying there, he was attacked a few months ago by a standard poodle, and he defended himself, but he, of course, got the blame, mm -hmm. okay, and got beaten up by the man. Yeah. Totally booted and beaten up, and it was very scary for the owner. Um, and since then, he's been very uptight with meeting dogs. Until now, back to just being a wee excitable boy, but so obedient. He'd be an amazing therapy dog. An amazing agility dog, wouldn't you? Amazing protection dog. Great, great nature. So well done, boy. So just little bits like that, that's your start. You need to go, there's dogs, so I'm gonna walk towards them. And I'm but remember when you when you when you walked up, you you need to keep that three feet distance around him. When okay. the dog comes in that you need to be turning and hey, beat it. Right, okay. And give him that space until everything's calm okay. and then you can slowly introduce. You know? And what, you, what, what are you looking for him to do and for the other dog to do so they can meet? What do you want them both to do? I just want him to be calm. Calm and sniffing? Yeah. Yeah? Good boy. And ideally butt to face, not face to face. Jack, that was a, a 10 out of 10 pound. <laughs> Good boy.